Boy, I've kind of been fearing this one. <laughs> pet making is a complicated mess of a process. I've been kind of fearing making the tech video on it, but it's time. It, it's truly, truly, truly RNG at the end of the day, luck based. Do you get it? Do you not get it? Flip a coin and find out. Here's the thing. You need a ton of gold, you gotta come in with crowns, and you gotta have energy gear. Today, we are just focusing on the pet making aspect of it. All these other things, if you have questions, ask below or we'll make a video in the future. But what do you need, once you're established with this, what do you need to be able to make this pet for? So what we're wanting to do is all damage. I need a myth pet. All damage myth pet. Inspect me, let's show them. We'll show them what Boars is. We're basically going to be cloning him. Four, seven, four, eleven, seven. Now, you have Mighty. It's not going to pop up, but you have the, the, the selfish talent Mighty, yes. which gives one extra damage on all of those. The way to get absolute max damage on a pet is all five pet talents, all of your attributes at the max level, like 260, 250, in that range, depending on what it is, and then mighty in there also to boost all of them up one yes so you gotta get mighty and every other one has to be a damage talent you need crowns what are we spending the crowns on there's two elixirs well i can already tell you i need one because i transferred this pet over you need the energy elixir <laughs> already bought and you need peruse potion number nine you need i hate <laughs> i absolutely despise this is just nothing you're paying 400 crowns, and you literally just get nothing for it. But you have to buy it every time after you make a pet. So, Boar, what's step one for this? Step one, you need to determine what pet body and stats you want to get on your dream pet. So, as you can see, he's got this god pet, and I got the same pet body. If I trained it up, I would not get this. I get, I'd get useless random stats. I'm not, I would not get this. So, so we gotta transfer his DNA... Over to my boy, Frankenstein style. Yes. So if we pull this pet up, you can see everything. This is a fresh pet. You see how the numbers are real low and random, and none of these talents really coexist very well. We got to get all those numbers as high as they can get. All these ones to the right need to be as high as they can get. And we need this pet talent pole. To match his. Yes. and we've Then kind of, the RNG starts. We've kind of already said this step, but go over the next step for Okay, so next you need to find either a friend or kiosk pet that has your desired pet and stats. Yes. So Hunting. just find a friend. Join our Discord. Ask. That's probably the best way you're going to find a pet. Yes. Do not do kiosk. If you, I would <laughs> not recommend kiosk. It's very expensive, but if that's the only way to do it... You can also do it that way, but it's much more difficult, much more good. If you're feeling bashful, go to the kiosk, but it's going to be a lot more money. The third step is to take your base pet that you're starting with and rehatch it with the pet you found from your friend or kiosk until your talents and attributes are identical. When you have the pet identical to the other pet, then it's called a base which is the base you'll be working from to make your final pet. Leave your bases no higher than adult. That way your hatches are cheaper, your egg uh, busting is cheaper, and it's quicker. Let's go ahead and start making some pets. You need to get that one there to adult. Yes. Oh wait, yeah, that's true. So it's double pet XP. Wait till double pet XP. Double pet XP is literally every other week. <laughs> it's it's it at is, least once a month. It's, it, like. it's like two or three times a month, I swear. It's almost every time. Double pet XP. So just wait for that and do some gardening. Evil Magma Peas. I'm not big a big CP guy myself. I mean, he he's kind of lying. CP. He's lying. I get hate all the time for not being a CP fan because <laughs> I have six plots of triple stack evil magma peas. <laughs> that is insane. Apparently, I didn't know it was insane until I got berated on the internet. Yeah. So here, as you can see, I got efficient and stormproof. Completely random. You don't want those. Those are terrible. Now, Boar, let's go breed. So you hit hatch pet. He'll probably hit land pet. I'll hatch pet this first time. Okay, but so... But let me show you something. This is my maxed out pet that I actually use, and it's like an epic or ultra, something like that. Look how much it costs, bottom left. 22000 to hatch this one time. Yes. Now, I also have a base pet 
with the exact same stats and attributes unmanifested. And I'll show you how much that one cost. Twitchy Bandit. It went down to 3750 You're saving almost twenty grand a hatch. Go back one time and let's show them. Like, Keep in mind, look at the little circles on the side. Like the uncommon, epic, rare, however many circles there are. Go back one more time. It's the exact... Every single one of them have the exact same amount of circles. Thus, it's the exact same pet, but it's just adult instead of epic. Yes. Whenever you're... Um... Whenever your dots on the right match up and your numbers at the top match up, that means you've successfully copied your pet over from your hatching lender, buddy, friend, or the kiosk. His strength is going to be at 320, but the real highest strength is what, 255 or something? Yeah, 255, it goes up to 320 when you Only add when mighty. you get mighty. So, Boar, let's go ahead and hatch this MFR. The first hatch, you will never, ever, ever get the exact pet immediately. Never. This is going to And take... then it happens immediately yeah. because it's RNG based. Keep saying it if it happens because I've spent hours before on a pet. So, I'm going to hit I. Wait, hold on. I'm actually going to hit B and go here. Here's a trick. They have a hatching elixir in the crown shop for crowns, real world money, or you can click on it here, hit hatch egg now, and hatch it for like 2,000 gold. That was 2,900 gold to hatch that instantly, and it's because I had an adult and he had an adult. Yes. The same way the hatching is cheaper, if we would have hatched that and I had an epic or ultra, he had an adult, it would have been 20 grand to hatch that. So as you can see, my intellect's already gone up. My agility's gone up. Actually, my agility went down. <laughs> but, I mean, you just got to keep hatching, and it slowly gets closer and closer to his. Your agility is to where mine is, though, and that is enough for max stats. Okay, so just keep hatching until your stats are about the same. And until you have a base, every time, lock your new pet, equip it, and throw away your old pet. Skip game, Stormproof. So already garbage. How about a montage? Myth Dealer. Hey, we got our first talent that uh, we actually needed. Yes. Oh, he has a timer. Hatch again in 8 hours and 55 minutes. Or, or, if you bust out your mama's credit card, go to Elixirs and buy Peru's potion number 9. So if you don't know what's going on, Every time you hatch, it starts a hatching timer cooldown. Same as crafting. If uh, if you want to hatch more often, you have to spend that elixir. If not, you basically have to wait and only hatch like once or twice a day. <laughs> and if it's a double XP weekend, that means you'll get like five hatches in. So as you can see, I got more strength now. I'm getting closer to the 255. I think my intellect went up more. The other ones... I think power matters, but I don't think the other uh, ones really matter that much. Power matters. Your um, your agility and will are both very, very good. It's the other three that need worked on. And once those get close, that's when you start worrying about these dots here. So much. To I like simplifying stuff, but you gotta just tell them everything about this. You like simplifying stuff? I like eludicating things. <laughs> Strength the little, strength the same, intellect's gone up, blah, blah, blah. You see, everything's going up. Moving in the right direction. Yes. I'm on Earth and you're in Ohio. Right off the bat, on that boy, a mighty. Stormproof. I, I don't know why I'm so obsessed with this Stormproof. I've gotten it 35 times. Hold on, I gotta buy another freaking potion! 240, 249, 260, Looking so, better. Looking, looking better. better. Myth Dealer. So, I got Spell Defy and Myth Dealer. This is probably the best Bo pet Both so of far. those are supposed to be in the talent pool. We yes. just don't want the Defying to pop up. It's in the talent pool, but we don't want it to manifest in the pet, is the thing. Mm. Spell Defy, Myth Giver. So, rare, uncommon... That's wrong. That That's two. That needs to be three. Two needs to be four. One needs to be two. But these top two are looking good. And now that they match, they should never unmatch, right? Um, They'll stuff, never no, unmatch. Stuff can slide around, but it looks like our myth dealers are in the same spot. That's good. Our mighties are in the same spot. The common. 
Um, and then I'm the only missing a couple. I'm missing these three. Yeah. I'm missing the this one, this one, and this one. So. Yep. So we're you're about halfway there on having the correct talents, and then you're a little over halfway there on the numbers. So look, I got the maxed out strength now. I got 255 strength, 249 intellect. That's what I have. Uh, agility is 260, will 260, power 250. That's the exact attribute numbers that I have on the right. Excellent, 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 so excellent. We have copied <clears throat> the numbers that we need on the right. Those factor into your talents. Like if you add strength plus will times two power divide by the power of three, <laughs> that that gives you the number of percentage of your damages. There is a pet calculator. I'll put it. I'll put a link in the description. There's a pet calculator. Just whip that out. <laughs> so now, armor piercer. Right, that is in yeah. the pool. So our first step in our base making process is checked off. We have the first half, which is making your attribute numbers line up. Now we just have the second half of making those dots on the left line up perfectly. Oh, wait! I gotta pay the royalty tax! You gotta chug your half pot. Here's another tip. You get one hatch as the other person, and then you're on a timer. After that, you get four free lens, and then you're out for the day. So, now what I'm going to do is take this pet and swap it to another wizard who has four additional limbs, and the other person can do that until they run out of wizards to give it to. So, yeah. I'll swap it over, give it to Itachi, I will be right back. How many OSHA regulations is Dr. Piraru destroying with all these live wires just absolutely everywhere? Bro doesn't believe in OSHA. And there's PETA regulations being destroyed back there. I can see two animals being tortured unethical means <laughs> here we go See, we're lined up pretty good it looks like the bottom five are lined up by the dots These actually it looks like they're all lined they're up. actually all lined up they're all lined up so two two one one three three four four and my two, stats two. are the same yeah so uh, we, we've actually done pretty good time so within the first five hatches by the grace of god <laughs> you have made an identical base and there are going to be so many pissed off viewers <laughs> you did that from a brand new pet to a perfect base this son of a b gets this luck every time i spend three <laughs> hours on a pet and then make a base off that pet lend to him and then he just three taps it <laughs> gets a the salt is real so all i need i need i need one more hatch from you and then i'll have two adult bodied pets with these yeah. exact stats and the, the the manifestable talents and then i can just hatch by myself now so that leads into the next part we had which is number four make one more copied pet with identical stats once you have the first base lock lock the pet you just hatched with the second you got the perfect stats and then lock the next one you you hatched and then train it up to adult and don't continue yeah do not continue don't go past go leave both of these bases at adult and only train up their offspring yes and then name it mom something and then sir something and then lady something yeah that way you can easily tell name it like the same thing name it like sir stinky and madam stinky yes and then you'll know that stinky is the pet you're working on so as you can see myth giver myth dealer this is looking pretty good so far but i'm not gonna continue nope man <laughs> All that whining I did about spending crowns, and I got it that fast. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm, so, I'm just pissed off so many people, you're right. <laughs> so many people are going, you took six hatches total and have two perfect bases. <laughs> so many people are just punching the air right now, just so <laughs> mad. I know I am. I'm a hater on the low key. Just kidding. <laughs> on the high key, I'm a hater because these same pets, which he's bombing off of me, <laughs> took me hours. We'll have uh, Sir Buttercup and... Madam Buttercup. Yeah, Madam Buttercup. Oh, yeah, that's it. The one with that, the storm. That is absolutely not it. I need, to, I need to kill that one. Hey, hold on. Are you sure that's the other one? Uh, we'll about to find you out. You ain't been throwing them away. Sir... Lady, so we got Sir and Lady Buttercup, and where's the other one that needs to be euthanized? Here she is. 
see you in hell. Okay. Now equip them both and make sure they're <laughs> identical. That way you make sure you name the right bases. Lady Buttercup, rare, uncommon, ultra rare, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to memorize okay. that. Yeah. 255, blah, 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 Just blah, blah. Just go over to the right or left ones. Well, now I've done f forgot. <laughs> which, it's 255, blah, blah, blah. Yep, you're good. These are the good ones. So, now you got them locked. Make sure... I'm just gonna throw away these. I don't. I don't know yeah, what where I got that freaking rat from. I hate rats. But Lady Buttercup, Sir Buttercup, it sticks out like a sore thumb. You can't accidentally breed it with another one and then f up the whole pool. There you go. This one is called the grinding step. <laughs> Continue to self hatch your two identical bases until your desired talents manifest on their offspring. Do not take your bases past adult. This can oftentimes be the most difficult part. I don't know, with his RNG. <laughs> re re requiring up to dozens and dozens of hatches at this level. Sometimes. We'll see. It could take him two. Could take him one. Uh, watch me get up my first try. Make you nice and pissed off. Nice and... Myth giver. So far, okay. looking good. Hold on. Let's give a quick tech tip while we're here. If you're having trouble making an offspring that doesn't have two of the desired talents you want, it may be best to train your offspring until you have an adult base where both of the talents are desired. And then throw away the first base you made that had like a pierce in it. See? See? So if it happens to where every time you go past adult or epic, you get a pierce, Maybe change out one of the bases because one of his bases have a pierce showing. That's true. That's very... Lady Buttercup does have a pierce showing. So if it keeps manifesting, I will train another adult. If it just has two damages, kill Lady Buttercup, euthanize, and then we start breeding that pet with Sir Butter. It may sound confusing, but you'll probably see I think see that's what we need to do now. Throw away the pet we just made and then try to replace our pierce base with either a mighty in damage or double damage base. You wouldn't think that would matter, but it seriously does matter. It I, does it, matter. It, some people will say it doesn't matter. I know people that are friends that say it doesn't matter. I'm telling you it matters. I have banged my head against a brick wall for three hours before. It matters. <laughs> yeah, it does it, matter. It, even if it's just, uh, just for the heebie-jeebies it gives me, it matters. You calling us liars? You calling me a liar? I ain't calling you a truther. <laughs> the unethical, inbred facilities <laughs> of Wizard101's pet making is simply unacceptable. Maybe it's the inbreeding that makes them magical. <laughs> is that the secret to immortality, is inbreeding? Literally anything but the pierce. Or resist. Yeah. To stay that and defy the info. Okay. Perfect. So, oh. we're going to throw away Lady Buttercup. I'm so sorry. Lock your new base and then go rename it to, like... Sir Squiggle Buttercup. So they're gonna be gay? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> we'll make them gay. Can I name it Junior Buttercup? I don't think Junior's an option. We'll you can see. name it Lil, L-I-L. Lil, Lil, Lil Buttercup. Lil Buttercup. Buttercup. Sir Buttercup and Lil Buttercup. Buttercup. Oh, there we yeah. go. Now Buttercup we Junior. two bases with all damage showing. Look at that. So They're good. identical. Beautiful. God. Can I not go on the damage? Oh, oh man, no, that, not that, if you don't drink up our rope. Not if you don't give me 400 crowns and go smack yourself in the testes. <laughs> Do you know that Dr. Phil clip where it's like, I hate you, you're ugly, <laughs> give me $200. <laughs> That's rat beard every single time you, you make a pet. We're breeding Lil Buttercup with Sir Buttercup. <laughs> that feels very unethical. This pet's, <laughs> this pet's gonna come out with an extra pedigree. <laughs> <laughs> Twitchy Rusty. <laughs> if that isn't an inbred name, I don't know what is. All it can do is twitch. Knock <laughs> one beer. Ooh. That is fire. So pull that up. Let's look at it before you bring it along. So, Hi. Pain Bringer. Myth Giver, Myth Dealer, Myth Boom. So you need Pain Giver or you need Mighty. I'm hoping at for this Mighty. last, last one. Hold on, you got last one. Look at the camera. Let me let me click it for you. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna base it solely off your reaction. Okay. 
<laughs> you can suck my. Dad. This pet's ruined. Is it ruined? Yes. Let's see. <laughs> Give her. Yes, it is because it is ruined because you don't have mighty and you don't have five damages. But I don't think I'm gonna throw it away. You could keep that and put the uh, the pain bringer on it, and it would be decent. It'd be good for different situations. That's not the pet I'm trying so to make. Lock that one now and go back to your bases and pray to your god mm -hmm. for this attempt. I got me a magical crystal orb. That didn't take no time to f that one up. That one's that one failed so fast. I'm just gonna euthanize it straight out. Oh well. Oh no. Ring its neck. Hey Lois, remember? Remember the time? Hey Lois. Hey Lois. Yeah. Anyone's done a recorded let's play within immediate failure. Immediate failure on Mr. Samantha. <laughs> Mr. Samantha. <laughs> As you can tell, the names are getting dumber. It's probably because they're they're in red, and they're both male. I have a friend named Sam, but he is not a Samantha, and he is also not a dinosaur. That was absolutely integral information <laughs> for the video, bro. Thank you. So we got Little Buttercup, Sir Buttercup, and Stinky Buttercup. This one's got to work because they're all three Buttercups. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's what we're missing. Just name them all to Buttercup before you level them up. <laughs> Mayhaps. Mayhaps. Boar is very happy I've been failing now. Not he was ex insanely jealous. I bet you're still pissed off that I got the, the bases fast. Whenever he had two perfect bases and like five or six hatches, I was doing like the Arthur Fist meme. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah, I do. Where he, where he punches DW? No, where he's just sitting there with like his fist clenched. No, that's right before side. he punches DW. Oh. You haven't seen the... You haven't seen the I don't know the man. lore. I haven't watched Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> Every day when I'm you're walking... Bear, down the I ain't seen no Arthur. He's 253 years old. And he's like, oh, I wasn't a kid when you were a kid. No, no. Boar's 63, actually. And a half. Yeah. I'm just saying, if you start off with... <laughs> That's another failure! He was aggressive with his chicken when he grips it. Hey, Peter, remember the time? That one's maybe. Hey, Peter, remember the... <laughs> What's up the Cleveland's? <laughs> Pain giver. So far, so far, so far, good. So, so good. far, so, so good. far. Four, five. <laughs> good i don't know i feel like i have more patience when it comes to pets than well, i feel than like i have more person. patience since how i got the best <laughs> patches I could ever get in the game yeah, i don't know why i'm just a benevolent patient very exquisite man when it comes to pets i don't know why i'm so hopeful i've only had five hatches in a row that did nothing but benefit me <laughs> did you hear about the guy that walked into the bar he said ow he's all right now <laughs> did you hear about the guy who got his entire <laughs> left side cut off <laughs> He f***ing died. He died. Can you believe that? <laughs> I was hoping you would. You were hoping I'd say he was all right now? I was hoping you you would understand that I was trying to mix two jokes together. Yeah. Horse walks into a bar. Bartender says, why the long face? The horse says, my alcoholism is destroying my family. What do you call a fake noodle? An imposter. An imposter! Oh, you're ready to read Pools the I don't pet want. name. I thought you were speaking Japanese for real. Oh! Ah, let's see that now. So, Myth Giver, Pain Giver, Myth Dealer, Myth Boon, Mighty. So, I need Pain Boon or whatever. No, you just, yeah, you need the Pain Boon. I need the, the easiest one to get. Hold on, what's it actually called? It's called Pain Bringer. The 3%. Hopefully, you have one. Pain Bringer. I should. That's in your Wait. Book. Pain Bringer. He has Pain Bringer. I got Pain Bringer. Now, all I gotta do is put. This pet in my shared bank. Yes, do not equip the jewel before you move it to the wizard you need it on. You will have to break the jewel to move it. Well, we're going to put him in there, sir. All these pets are male. You, have you ever heard of Adam and Eve? Well, this was just Adam and, and Michael. <laughs> Adam and Michael. Adam and Michael. Pain bringer. Put that in my backpack. And Opito Sasha. We lock. We put... Obito. I thought you were saying Obito. Sasha. Oh. Like it was like Obito up Naruto and then <laughs> a ne like another word. So I fixed the pain bringer. If you can't... If you need like one of these universal damages, it's in the freaking Unforgiven Dead Pack. Yeah. That, that's where it's best to get. 
And with that pet now made... Come out here and let's take a look. Put your mount on. Yes, let me put my Trompy Bronto on. Hey, look, we're both goofy myth wizards now. <laughs> you can use this mount if you're on myth, okay? It fits. Goofy dinosaur. You got a lot of goofy. Humongo frog. Make uh, Humongo frog a mount! Let's see the finished product on the pet in your backpack. Seven, four, seven, eleven, four. With a set bonus of an additional six. So I get six extra, and that brings me to 210 myth damage. That's almost the cap. I just don't have the nullity robe. Yeah, you're just a thing. Yeah, which that is the second highest damage robe in the game you have. Yeah, so that's where I'm lacking in the crack, and I'm down three, three damage. Three damage, but 210 damage on an Orthrus round two is going to be ridiculous either way. That's absolutely mad. That's Isn't that whack dog? That is whack dog, and I would like to know the final count. Put it on screen for how many hatches you did. It has to be like 11 hatches top. <laughs> you're, you're very pissed off. Has in, Have any of you had that kind of RNG making a pet? Because every time I've lent to this man, <laughs> it's taken him 30 minutes flat to do it. <laughs> I'm just built different. What can I say? Just built different. Just... <laughs> Obito Sasha! Quick recap what we did here today. Number one, figure out what pet you want. Number two, find a pet that is similar or exact to what you want. Number three, hatch with the existing pet until you have a pet with the same talents and attribute numbers. Those are your bases. What's a base? It's a good starter. So these two would be my base. Lil Buttercup and Sir Buttercup were my bases. They're pretty much just synthetic clones of one another. Read five and six here, four. Five. Self-hatch your bases until your desired talents manifest, which I did with Lil and Sir Buttercup. And six. Equip your newly created dream pet and set fire to all living creatures within the spiral. <laughs> the only way to do it. Very, very good tech here today, Core. I'm proud of you. You know what? Dare I say? Tremendous tech from corn tech the best do 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 do